I'm always amazed at the amount of love that local brands and small businesses show me for my birthday. So I decided this year, let me show you guys a really quick birthday haul as to all the things that I've either bought or received as gifts from some local brands that I know and love and some that were new to me. Hey guys, it's your girl Chanel aka Nelly PM. Yes, I know. It's been a minute since I've sat down and done a full video on here, but life was just life in and things got really hectic with work and other things and I had to kind of step back from YouTube for a little bit. So I'm here, I'm back for the most part because last weekend I celebrated my birthday, I turned 36 and my celebration was just really low key with my hubs, went to church, relaxed, that sort of thing. And in the course of this month, I've gotten so much love from a lot of different local brands. They've sent me quite a few things. Um, other brands, I saw the opportunity to gift myself with some birthday things. And in, this, in the spirit of my birthday, I wanted to show you guys the haul that I got and also introduce you all to some local brands that you may not have known about. But first, if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are a regular, it's always good to see you. So, to the birthday haul. I mean, it's, it's a good bit of stuff in here, but let's start with the quote-unquote elephant in the room. So the first birthday gift that I got was from Let's Celebrate 868, and they sent me not one, but two arrangements. The first arrangement is a full balloon arrangement, and it has my name, Happy Birthday Chanel, on it, and it has like balloon flowers and stuff, and it's so cool, and I always like to see how they encapsulate balloons into the clear balloons. I just thought it was pretty cool. I'm gonna have this on my little dining table for the longest while. The following or the next arrangement that they gave me was what they call their hot air balloon. It's a helium balloon arrangement. It came with some flowers, had some Ferrero Rocher candies in there, and uh, it's just so cute to mark the celebration. So even though I wasn't really feeling big on celebrating my birthday before, I'm definitely feeling it a bit more now, even though my birthday has already passed. The next gift that I got is from the King's Daughter. I actually got this before my birthday. First off, I love how cute the little pouch that it came in is. And the King's Daughter, they do like different types of turbans and head wraps. So I got two of their turbans. I love the colors, I love the material, they're so light. And I've not worn them yet, but I'm definitely hoping that as things reopen i'll find somewhere to wear them um and you know look all cute again i just find that this is so cute i love how you know y'all know i love packaging y'all know i love packaging so this in itself is just the cutest thing for me the third gift is from the self-love experience and it is their still worthy t-shirt I'm all about my positive t-shirts or my positive tees, as I like to call them. So any t-shirt that has an uplifting, positive, or faith-based message, I am here for it. Plus, this is the prettiest shade of pink. I love it though. <laughs> the next item is from Sand and Soul, and I actually purchased one of their, a pair of their flip-flops. These are locally made flip-flops as in you can go on their website and pick your your soling and then they'll show you the color options um for the straps based on which soling that you picked and they custom make it for you and ship it out for you i already have one pair from them so when i saw the sale i was like okay i need to get in on this and get myself another pair they're so comfortable they're durable and why not support a local brand that's doing it i think a lot of us go crazy over like the old navy flip-flops i've had those in the past so why not you know support a local brand that is providing quality slippers the next gift 
is jewelry and now this is just one of the pairs but i will show you the others these are from fs accessories that's adriana i love her jewelry her wire bending jewelry she's amazing with what she creates and she gave me these like i call them like a half a flower earrings as well as some cuff earrings because i love air cuffs and i just find that they're so cute they're not too big but at the same time they make a statement i have quite a few of her uh jewelry pieces already so this is just to add to my collection now if y'all know me y'all know that i am into different scents and stuff for the home and whatnot and i love candles i love incense i love uh wax melts etc so the next gift that was given to me is from arome candle company these are their wax melts i've been a fan of arome candle company for a few years and this particular fragrance tobacco and vanilla the sun so good it smells so amazing and it quickly became one of my favorite scents from them for their candles and wax melts and Nelly B would not be Nelly B without splurging one of my favorite local luxury skincare brands which is Immortal Beauty but with a twist um, our ambassadorship came to an end in September so on the last day that my code was valid I decided to get a couple items and because I was curious, I decided to try two fragrances that I'd not tried from them before. So I got their Citron and Granadilla Shower Gel, as well as their Gardenia and Morning Mist Sheer Moisture Lotion. Back to fragrance and candles and whatnot. So this is the Pumpkin Caramel Crunch Candle from Amore. And listen, how cute is the packaging they're calling it one of their fall scents even though i know we don't have fall here in trinidad but it smells so good and i've not gotten a chance to light to light it yet but hopefully really soon so after i recorded the video these gifts got dropped off this is a candle with the cutest holder and wax melts from shan essence listen they smell so good and I also got these adorable earrings from TR Handmade Jewelry. This next brand is a brand that I've been following for a while and they reached out to send me a gift for my birthday. It is the Mountain Rose Bath and Body Products line. It is local and she said she was sending me something but ooh, did she send me something. So in her sweet melon line she sent me the massage and body oil, the sugar scrub for face and body, and the hydrating body wash. She also sent their calming lavender bath soap and their brightening turmeric and lemon luxury facial elixir. Now, just when I was thinking, okay, wow, this is quite a good bit of stuff one more brand had to jump out and be like all right bet and this brand is my favorite local brand when it comes to all things satin so crown and Lux sent me this cute little goodie bag and in this goodie bag i got several bonnets because i mean there's no such thing as too many bonnets for your hair i also got a couple pillowcases a couple scarves and a few things that I'm not going to show just yet because they are yet to be released. But what I would say is that you should follow Crown and Lux. Actually, you should follow all the persons that I mentioned. I will tag them in the description box. But if you're interested in finding out what Crown and Lux will be launching soon, make sure you're following them to see when they launch it. So that is it for my birthday haul. Overall, I had myself a wonderful, quiet birthday, just celebrating it here and there as I went along. And as I end off this video, I'm just gonna share with you guys a couple photos from my birthday shoot, which was taken by Marked Images. We did a photo shoot up at uh, Salmon Park going up to Mark Reap. So do enjoy. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye. If I'm my way.